What's up YouTube, Eugene here. Hope you're well and I am excited for this. This is a midnight stroll from Gucci's Alchemist Garden and I've been talking about this for months. Um, I've been really obsessing over incense-based perfumes. Uh, this is a 2020 release. I, I believe it was earlier this year it came out. The whole collection was released uh, last year. Um, a wonderful addition to all designer exclusives. Alberto Marias has done a wonderful job on all of these. I've enjoyed everything that I've smelt so far, which is a surprise considering all the trash that Gucci's been putting out the last 10 years. It's literally junk, not worth mentioning, not worth, you know, the price of admission. <laughs> um, but I can definitely see a swing in the pendulum, you know, starting to come up the last couple of years. They've been putting out some some interesting pieces, even in their designer, in their regular range. Um, so good to see that. Always like when perfume houses are, are putting out interesting compositions. Um, if you read the blurb on the Gucci website, if you go and check out the marketing brief, uh, Gucci says this is an ode to the allure of the night, which is weird. It's very open. Um, to interpretation that could literally mean anything it's uh all it tells you it's dark outside um tonight what does the night mean really it could mean you know taking your dog for a walk or taking your cat for a walk or your panther or leopard or whatever animal they've chosen to um portray a midnight stroll i'm not exactly sure i think a more befitting description would have been uh, some kind of gesture towards liturgical perfumes because that's what this is. This is a reference textbook liturgical perfume. Um, very rich in resins, incense, smoke, plumes, that sort of thing. Not really uh, incense coming from trees like Nuit de Faux, which I reviewed earlier very positively. I love that one as well. So that's uh, much it's, it's more resinous from uh, balsamic firs, but this is more from uh, uh, resins from the Baswala tree, which they derive uh, frankincense from, because I get a ton of frankincense from here. Um, Gucci lists incense, cade, and cypresses notes. You know, we know that you can't build a perfume from three notes. There's, it's, this is much more complex and, and uh, intricate than, than just that, but... I definitely get frankincense right when I spray this on. Let's put a little bit on. Wow, this is very bold. It's very smoky. It's very dry. It's dark, ashy, uh, gothic, mysterious, leathery, tarry. Resins are popping everywhere. It's just like sweet, smoky, churchy frankincense. Oh, it's just dry. It's 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 just wonderful. If you're into this kind of thing, it's very cedary. Uh, lots of woods in here. Of course, cypress, uh, cade. Cade is basically juniper oil extracted, which adds a really nice tarry effect to it. This is very tarry and plumy, almost like petrol oil on fire or something like that. But it's just like, you know, when you go into a church, when you go into a Catholic cathedral or Orthodox cathedral, whatever, Christian cathedral, whatever kind of cathedral you go to, and they're burning that sweet, smoky incense. You know, it's spicy, and you can smell it from the back of the church. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Um, going into a church around the holiday season, um, I like to picture it not a procession, maybe a few hours before when you're alone and you can... You can really just kind of um, get to know it, get to appreciate the church for what it is, the architecture, the landscaping, the empty pews, the, the dry pews, the dry books, the dustiness of the church. So once all that passes, it's got a really bold opening. It's like outrageous practically, um, quite masculine, very spicy. Um, the spices start to come out and they're very green earthy spices. Um, it, it feels like, uh, you know, aromatic thyme, basil, tarragon, rosemary, very oily. 
Um, there's something very oily in here, and I'm just thinking rosemary. It's like an animalic rosemary spice. Uh, quite leathery, quite nuanced. It's not dirty barnyardy, just dirty animal. Not dirty. It's animalic. It's living and breathing. That's what it feels like on me. Uh, so the base is it's balsamic fir. You know, they list cypress. So it could be any fir that you're familiar with, any pine tree, anything that that bleeds sap. And when you go to, you know, touch it, if you've ever gone hunting for your own tree at Christmas time and, and you've chopped it down or sawed it down, it bleeds this sap. And the sap is very clear, but it's very sticky. It's like glue, literally. And it has the smell of incense to it. And it smells like pine. It smells like fir. And it's very balsamic. So that's why it's called a balsamic fir balsams. Fir balsams, that's what they are. So they're very sweet and they're very green. And to me, you know, the balsams here, are they're, they're, they're green nuanced. They're slightly fruity. And I'm associating mango. And I think it's all due to uh, Bertrand du Chaffour's Timbuktu that he did with Lardizan, um, which is an excellent pairing, balsams and mango. Because balsams are sweet on their own, they're incensey, and they've got a little bit of that fruity touch going on. Um, there's also some ambers in here, uh, but they're not golden hues. They're not. They're slightly powdery, but they're more like that green balsam ambers. I don't get really golden colors or, or golden hues or benzoins or vanillas or anything like that. It just kind of dries down to this really incensey balsam um, amber. So there's incense, resins all over the place. Uh, don't really get benzoins or myrrhs or any of that. There's no creaminess. There's, you know, any sweetness is a very natural contrived from trees and woods, uh, fruits. There's no sugars or vanillas or any of that that I'm getting so far. Uh, so I love to wear this when I'm meditating. I wasn't always able to wear this. When I first started meditating, it would distract me uh, badly um, and it would just start to cloy and I couldn't concentrate. I'd completely lose my concentration. The whole point of meditating is to clear your thoughts and um, become conscious with self. So just kind of uh, separate your, saw, your thoughts and, and become um, come together with consciousness and this would just, you know, one spray would completely cloy me and it would throw me off track. But now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with, with meditating, I can, I can wear one or two sprays and it helps me kind of ease into that transition and um, feel actually very comfortable. And, and I reach for these spiritual-based, incense-based incense, incense -based perfumes. And I know they've been used in um, religious practices for probably centuries, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really keep up with all that stuff, but, um, you know, it's got frankincense, frankincense and incense got purification quality. So when you do burn it, 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 it purifies the air. It kills any sort of bacteria and, and, and it keeps the room pure and that's why it's used. Um, also, you know, the belief of with prayer, the smoke from the frankincense that's burning takes those prayers up to the heavens and, and to the gods or whoever it is you're praying to. So there's also that kind of belief. But um, if you're looking for a incense liturgical, churchy perfume, this, you know, look no further. This is a wonderful release, a, a wonderful contribution to that. If, you know, if you enjoy things like Avignon or um, Bois d'Encens, or even um, Nuit. Nuit de Faux is quite different, actually, from this. I love both um, Nuit de Faux and Midnight Stroll. Uh, Nuit de Faux is much more woodier and, and much more... Uh, I'd say it's much more complex, but it's not just about incense. There's leather and oud and all kinds of other stuff in here. This is mostly faceted around incense, frankincense. And it's taken that frankincense and kind of um, highlighted the note uh, with things that um, it's created from, like the woods, um, like the sap, like the balsams. So this is, 
this is basically frankincense and incense. Um, so quite different from Nuit de Faux. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Wonderful perfume. Let me know what you guys wear for uh, church perfumes, churchy, resinous, liturgical uh, fragrances. Always love hearing your comments. And uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. And thanks for watching. We will see you soon.